Oh my god. Dude, oh my god, this is freaking amazing. Oh my god. Oh no, 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 no! No, 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 no! Has this ever happened to you? You never got the camera to be on the right angle to record what you were doing. You can never finish what you were recording because you always got pissed off. You never got what you wanted to get on the TV. Well, here's an easy and simple way that's free that you can record whatever you want on your TV absolutely free. First things first, you need to know what you're going to want to record. You maybe want to record a guitar here or God of War. In my case, this is God of War we're recording. There's only three things you're going to basically need. A DVD recorder, an empty DVD, and Screenium for Macintosh. This is not for PC people. For you PC people, you can leave right now. Where do you get Screenium? Well, all you need to do for Screenium is go to your Mac, any type of internet browser that you need to go to, and go to Apple. Now, on Apple.com, you don't have to go to Apple. You can just Google search Screenium. on that or on Google. They both are good downloads. And right here is the download that you need to do. Now once you download this application, it's going to download not so fast, but yet not too slow. Now once this download is completed, you'll come up with a page that looks like this. Click on the immediate Screenium. Don't drag it to the applications. You don't have to. You can. Now, in Screenium, which I'm using right now, there's going to be a page that pops up. I the page for Screenium will look like this. I had to take a picture of it, but it will look like this. Now, out down here, if you follow my hand, will come a box. And into that box, you need to put this code. This code is updated for all the newest data. This code is all you need to do. Once you insert this code, which I will put in the description, you will get ScreenM completely free with nothing else needed. No extra downloads or anything. Now there is another download. There is another download for something that helps you record what the screen is doing. So if you're playing a YouTube video, record the screen. Or you can do what I'm doing right now is record with a mic built into the Mac. So that's Screenium, and Screenium is a free download. I would recommend doing it because it is helpful for a lot of stuff, but it is mainly helpful for what this process we're doing right now. Now, why you may why is Screenium so important? Well, whenever you record a DVD, it goes right to a video file that can be on your computer that you can upload onto YouTube. You can also put it on your iPod, on your PSP, or any other mobile device that you can put MP4 files on. Now, let's get to the other stuff. There are only other two things that we need. We need a VHS DVD recorder that can also record tape but mainly DVD. We need, as I already have in the machine right now, we need a blank DVD that is not copyrighted or anything. It's just blank. You can record whatever you want on it. Now, once you put in the DVD, remove anything that takes the sound off of the VCR to the TV because those are bad. Flip those off. Even though you like them at home, they will not work with this DVD. Now, what you need to do is replace that sound onto the DVD. Now that the sound and the video have been put into the TV correctly, it is time to start recording what you want. With the DVD in, you should come up with a menu like this. I've already pre-recorded some stuff, so I'm going to go to an empty slot. and go to overwrite if you can see that overwrite take away all the displays by pressing the display button and now you can start recording once you finish recording get out the disc now do not scratch it because we don't want any skips on the video then once you have the video in your hand place it into the computer carefully without scratching it now my computer sucks and it doesn't let the disc in so mine's having some problems but your Mac shouldn't So yeah, it's completely in. Once you're done recording what you wanted and the disc is inserted, there's one of two things that you can do. Now one of them that I didn't mention is downloading this FFMP 
EGX thing that converts videos from formats to formats. It's pretty cool. I do that with all my Canon shots that I use for my camera. Or you can do the way that I'm teaching you. Now the way that I'm teaching you to do this is simple. Simply go to your finder and open up DVD player. DVD player. Now the disc should automatically start. Once this video is done, I don't know. Just continue this. Okay, so here's the DVD. Now, once you're done recording, once I'm done recording this, I will show you a preview of what it looks like. So yeah, it's basically like that, but you're going to be doing it in full screen without anything bad going on. Now sound may be an issue. If you didn't get the pre-recording that records anything that goes on in the computer, here's an alternate way. You take two speakers, or they could be your headphones. They have to be big, they cannot be small headphones. You, they can't be like iPod headphones or anything. What you do is you hold the left one in your right hand and your right one in your left one in your right hand. Hold them up to the top where the camera is while you're recording and be dead silent. You don't want to hear your sound going <coughs> while the video is going on. That's how I did it and the sound sounds fine. Now if there's another way of doing it, you can tell me because this is how I did it and this is how I was taught. That's an easy way of doing it. Here's a short demo of what the God of War ended up to look like. Now I can probably tell you, you might not be a little bit happy that it's not in perfect high definition. But if you're posting it on YouTube, it's going to look exactly fine. Especially now, because this looks this really doesn't look that bad for a YouTube video. And also, it's so much action in the game. If you were recording something shorter, like a Tar Hero, it would go a lot smoother and a lot easier. Now, there are some downsides. Now, you might be happy and think, I can download any DVD. I can finally put Harry Potter on my iPod for free. Well, that's the downside. You cannot do anything on your VCR to over record movies. That is the only bad part. If you're going to do that, do it another way. I'm not going to do anything bad to you. Now, other tricks of doing this. You can also download a really, really hard file to do, or you can just do it the easy way like this. Now, if you don't have a VCR and a DVD player, that may be a little downside. If you don't have a recording, Maybe another downside. If you don't have a PC, you can't do it. This is for Mac people that own a VCR recorder and a DVD recorder. Please, I am not responsible for any of your technology being broken, misused, or mistaken. Do not blame me for anything. And remember, subscribe to HulkForce103 and also add me as a friend and do whatever you want. Now, you should be able to do this to all. Oh, that's right, stars are gone. I hate YouTube nowadays. But yeah, please subscribe. Thank you.